Hi, good afternoon. Uh, this is Stan, Fort Kowski, yes, you know, Honey Farm from Northwest Jersey Branch. And uh, we're going to talk about today how to get your hive from fall harvesting the honey and getting your hive ready in preparation for winter. Uh, these are the things that uh, I follow and I'm recommended uh, by uh, the old timers uh, that have taught me, so this is my way of doing it. And of course, everybody has a different technique and different way of wanting to do it. So what we do, we come to the hive now, it's uh, August, September, and we want to start taking uh, the hive apart. Of course, we'll smoke it and uh, take the brick off. We have a weight. I laid it down for the storms, like Irene and all. Did a lot of damage, a lot of behind the loss and down the river. So we take the inner cover off, the telescopic top, rather, we take off, and we take the inner cover off. And we got the two sticks that I use to elevate it to have ventilation from the bottom of the hive and they can draw the heat and humidity out here because we have a lot of humidity in New Jersey. So I was taught to always raise the uh, telescopic top a little bit or you can put a notch in there if you prefer. Some people don't like the notch, some do. I have them both ways. So we need that extra ventilation. So we lay the roof down and we take the inner cover off, set it aside. Now we got a full box of honey, medium. Or you can have a deep super full of honey. So we're three stories high with two deep brew chambers, and we got the honey super here. So we're going to take this off and harvest it. And that'll come off. So we set that aside. Now we get into what we got to do for our management for the winter. We can open up the hive and inspect it. We go right down to the bottom for it. Inspect the whole not. Make sure we got a clean, viable, she's laying. If not, she's not very doing very good. We're going to clean her now in the fall. The cleaning is done quite often in the fall, we cleaning and also in the spring. So just don't think you have to re clean in the springtime. You can also do it in the fall. Then we take this super off, we go and examine each one. Take the high school, we'll open them all up, pop them out, we look and see. We have uh, some eggs and brood up here, maybe, and we got all honey. So what we do is we just set this one aside, and we go down to the bottom. Set that there, we don't hurt the bees. And in the bottom of our hive, we manipulate it. So this is probably going to be three quarters to 100% full of honey. And of course, you might have some brood in there too, mixed. So what we do is we go through the frames and take a full frame of honey, out of this hive body and we place it over here on the outside and remove this one because it's probably not drawn out all the way. So we need a full frame of honey to pack on the right hand side and a full frame of honey on the left hand side. That'll be this one here. So these two frames are full of honey. We've got one on the right, one on the left. Either nine frames or ten frames, whatever you're running. And then we get into the honey and the pollen and the brood, everything's got to be in the center. I'll raise this up and show you like this. And you can see how I arranged it. Of course, the bees want to arrange it the way they want to do it. But this is the way we're going to do it and get it ready for winter. So this full frame of honey here on the right and this full frame here on the outside was taken from that second story. It's going to be put on the outside and we're going to have our pollen and our brood and honey mixed. And then all the brood will be taken and put and consolidated into the center of the hive. And the queen, don't have to worry where she's at, when you got a good viable queen, she will follow and look for the brood and work her way down to where the brood is going to be. Now, that's the way that I was taught to do it, and it works very well. Uh, some of you might not agree with that. They'll say, well, let the bees do what they want to do. But these two frames of honey are very important come December, November, December, and January, that they're going to consume these two frames of honey completely. And then the brood is going to work their way up, and of course you have the pollen there. And then your option is, when you have this, you can use the Varroa screen board, leave it on over the winter. You can put a screen in, uh, or screen it off. You want to clean your bottom board, put that all back, nice and clean. And then set this back down if you want to use the Varroa screen. There's many different options, different kinds. This is one variety. And then you can either leave it on or take it off. Then you put your super back on like this, ready to go. 
then you take your medication whenever you're going to use your, like I'm using Apigard, and I put the Apigard right here between these two chains. And then this box of honey is going to go up here. Now, if this box isn't three quarters full, it's only maybe half full or something like that, or less, but you got all drawn frames here, but nothing in them. So what you want to do is I put one of these feeders in and make a sugar water mix of two to one weight. That's like eight pounds of, uh, one gallon weighs eight pounds of water. So roughly I take 16 pounds of honey, uh, sugar. Dissolve that with warm water, or hot water, and let it you know, dissolve so it's all not granulated. And I put it in these feeders and I put that on the outside. And I always have the, on the, either the right or the left hand side so I know my feeder is right there. And then the bees will fill up all these with nectar and that'll be stored for the winter in addition to what they already have on their hives. And then and also on top of that, I'll put my inner cover, like so, put that back. And then when I go to, in a couple of weeks or a week, uh, depends on how much the bees consume their honey and the nectar. Some build more, some others don't. So what I do is I come back in a week or so, I just smoke them up a little bit on the uh, entrance. I slide my inner cover over like this. My feeder is right here. And I can just pour my syrup right in. Even if it's cold, I can just slide it right back. I don't have to lose all that heat because some days like it's very, very cool and you don't want to chill that food. Even though it is down below and all your honey stores and nectar is going to be up here on your honey syrup. And then hopefully we put the sticks back like this for your ventilation. And then we put the roof back on. And we can close it up for the winter. And of course, we can come back in a week or so if we need additional feeding. I could just do the same thing again. Take the roof off. I have my sugar water syrup already made. Slide it over, pour the syrup in, and fill it up to almost about an inch from going overflow because we don't want to flood it and have the bees getting drowned in the nectar. And then slide it back, put the two sticks on like this, and we be ready for winter. And by the time our frost frost comes, the bees are going to be all done and finished, and this should be all just about all three quarters or 100% full of uh, sugar water and honey nectar. And then the bees will make their way through there. And down in the bottom in the springtime, April, this bottom hive, this bottom super will be completely empty. All your bees will be up here. And then what we do is reverse the procedure. We put her back downstairs and we can show you how to do it in the spring. Take the roof off. Take the sticks off for ventilation, the inner cover. And then in the springtime, when it gets warm, not you get some chilly nights, so we don't want to rush and get to reverse the colony too quick because you all your bees are right up here and your eggs and brood is right in here now. There's nothing on that second box down below at all now. So we take this box and set it aside, which will be completely empty. But remember, it was full in the fall. Then you can put your grower screen back on or leave it off, your option. Then we put this super on the bottom. Now it's got all your brood and your honey in there and all your pollen is coming in at this time. First one will be the pussy willow and uh, the crocuses are coming out, the skunk cabbage is coming out. So you got to get going in the springtime and then put this box up on top, which is empty now. They're going to start filling this all up with nectar and pollen and get ready for the spring. I think I just about covered everything here now. Kind of short brief way that I do my management of my hives. Okay, you put that back like that, get the ventilation going, move on, and put your weights back on. Make sure you have weights. Okay? Very good. Any questions? Nope, good. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Sam. Hope this helps you.